Hey guys, welcome back for those that are coming back and for those that are new here, my name is Lara and welcome to today's video, which is my winter TBR. I have a lot of books here. I know for a fact I am not going to get to all of these, but this is what I'd like to get to. I would really, really, really love to get to every single one of these, but if I'm being realistic, I probably won't make it to a good deal of them because I have so many here especially Christmas books. I have a lot of Christmas books. But anyway, let's jump into what I hope to read this winter. So I'm going to start off with romance books. And this is romance, not Christmas related. So I do have like a whole bunch of romance here that's Christmas related, but we're going to go non Christmas related. And we are going to start with The Breakup Book Club by Wendy Wax. And I have this on here because obviously Valentine's Day is in the winter. And for some odd reason, I don't even know if this has anything to do with Valentine's Day, but for some, like I said, odd reason, the cover screams Valentine's Day to me. And I think it might be like the pinks and the reds going on there. So this is on my list as far as romances go. And then the other romance book I have here is to complete one series that I've been in the middle of for a while now. And I just, I want to get this series done. It's not saying that I don't like the series. I do enjoy the series. But I just feel like it's just been sitting on my shelf for way too long. And it has, like I said, it has nothing to do with anything about the series. It's just been sitting there way too long and I need to pick it up. And this is the fourth and final book in the Dirty Air series by Lauren Asher. And that is Redeemed. Now I'm excited to jump into this one because I heard it's so many people's favorite. So again, I'm really excited to jump into it and I need to stop putting it off. So those were the two romance books on my TBR for the winter that aren't Christmas related. So next let's jump into fantasy because I don't have very many of them on here either. But it's weird because for some reason in my mind, winter and fantasy just go like hand in hand. And I don't know why I don't have more on here. Well, I do know why because you should see. Wait until you see. I have a ton on here. But anyway, the first fantasy I have on here is The Prison Healer. I don't know what makes me think of winter and this book, but... For some odd reason, this book sticks out to me for winter, so I pick this one up. And then this one, I feel like the cover gives winter vibes. I have no idea if this takes place in the winter. It's a very popular book that's going around right now, so I want to pick this one up soon. I've heard absolutely amazing things about it, and that is One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. And the cover just screams winter. Again, I have no idea if this takes place during the winter, but this one is on my list for the winter. And then we are going to jump into thrillers. So I have three thrillers here. This one is The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. I've been meaning to get to this one for a while. Like I said about many of the books here, I've heard really, really good things. But I feel like I've been putting this book off for winter just because it, it just gives all the winter vibes here. Obviously, we have like a snowstorm going on here. So I wanted to save this one for the winter. And I am so glad that I'm going to be reading this very, very soon. And then we have Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. Again, I have no idea if this takes place during winter, but the cover gives me winter vibes for some reason. So there's that one. And then last but not least, this is another one. I don't know if it takes place during winter, but it gives me winter vibes and I will tell you why. This is The Family Plot by Megan Collins. And this one I know absolutely nothing about. I haven't heard anybody talk about. I know it's not like an older, older book, but it's not necessarily newer either. Let me see. This one came out in 2021. So like I said, not necessarily older, but not necessarily new, new. So I'm excited to jump into this one. I think this one screams winter vibes for me because for some odd reason, the house in this makes it look like a snow globe for me. So that is why this one is on here. And then now we are moving out of the thrillers. And actually, I did want to put one more on here. You guys can let me know what you think. So it is a Lucy Foley book. And I, you can't see it in the frame here. But it is The Hunting Party. Now, I read The Paris Apartment by Lucy Foley. And I read, oh my gosh, um, The Paris Apartment and what is the other one? The Guest List. And I heard The Hunting Party has the same format as the guest list and I wasn't necessarily a, a big fan of either of her books that I read. I did like the Paris apartment more than the guest list. I just there was something about the guest list that I just I just didn't like and I heard that the hunting party is very much like that. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think based on like 
me not liking the guest list I won't like that one I'm thinking about still giving it a try but with not necessarily being like overjoyed with reading her books they just don't stick out to me they just they're not ones I want to put on the list when I have so many other books to get to but let me know if you think I would like it because maybe I will throw it on here maybe it's a possibility let me know in the comments what you think but anyway let's keep moving on here the next book I have here you guys it is dropped now but <laughs> the next book on here you guys know I love this author she is one of my absolute favorites I would read anything by her I have a collection of hers and that is Kristen Hanna so the one on my winter TBR I'm sure you could probably guess is Winter Garden also though I want to get The Woman her new release coming out so that will be on here as well I didn't include new releases on this and that's another thing I didn't include new releases on this so I have so many more I want to get anyway let's keep going this one is Winter Garden and I'm excited to jump into this one. I feel like it's been forever since I jumped into a Kristen Hanna book and I need to break that cycle and jump into one of her books. Her books have never been less than a four star read for me. So I need to get into one of her books again. So anyway, let's get into our winter cozy mysteries I have here. And the first one is Get Away With Murder by Diane Kelly. And this one is part of the Mountain Lodge Mysteries. Now, this is part of the Mountain Lodge Mysteries, but I have no idea if this takes place during the winter. But Mountain Lodge screams winter to me, so it's on here. And the cover also screams winter, I think because of the bear there. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know. But anyway, this one is on there. Then we have Dead and Gondola by Anne Claire. Again, cover screams winter vibes, especially with the snowy mountains down here. And the colors, the colors scream winter too. Then we have, so there are two books here and one is Christmas related and then one is not whatsoever, but I want to read the first one. I want to read them in order. You guys know how I am. So we have Stick Sweets Under by Sarah Fox and then we have Baking Spirits Bright by Sarah Fox. So there are those two. And as you can see, this one is a Christmas cover. You can see the lights there. So I'm excited to jump into this series as well. And this series is called A True Confections Mystery. So those are another two that I'm excited to jump into. And now we're moving on to our Christmas slash winter romance books. And I don't even know if these are all romance specifically, but they are all Christmas slash winter. So let's jump into it. We have Kiss Her Once For Me by Alison Cochran. And there is that one. Then we have The Book Club Hotel by Sarah Morgan. There is a cover of this one. I don't know if you guys have seen this book in the UK. I believe it's a UK cover. It's called The Christmas Book Club. And the cover of that one is just absolutely stunning as well. Her covers are just stunning. So here's that one. Then we have Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. I know a lot of you have read this already and I'm excited to jump into this one. I'm honestly so surprised I haven't jumped into Christmas books already, but that's a different talk for a different day. I have so many on my list, guys. It's crazy. Anyway, this one is Just in Time for Christmas by Carolyn Brown. I saw the reviews for this on Goodreads and it looks phenomenal. Then we have a December to Remember by Jenny Bayliss. I've heard people talking about other books by this author and really liking them. So I'm excited to jump into this one. Then we have a Cat Cafe Christmas by Cody Gary. And last but not least, we have One More for Christmas again by Sarah Morgan. So there is that one. And then last but not least, you guys know I've been in my graphic novel phase. Like, I've been in this graphic novel mood and I am reading graphic novel after graphic novel. And that's also why I say I don't see myself getting to all these books because I've been eating up graphic novels. Like it's a problem and graphic novels are faster to read, but they're also just as expensive as regular books. So it's, it's a lot of money to keep reading graphic novels, but anyway, and rightfully so, rightfully so. But that's a different topic for a different day. Again, anyway, let's jump into the graphic novels that I want to read this winter. I have so many, honestly. I have so, so many, but these are the ones that stuck out to me as far as priority. But I know I will be getting to a lot more. So the first on my list is actually a series. And the fifth book actually comes out in December. And I am so excited about starting the series, I kind of wanted to do a little reading vlog and kind of make the vlog with spoilers since so many people have read the series already. And that is the Heartstopper series. I have the box set here. And then I have the fifth book pre-ordered. 
So maybe if that's something you guys want to see, I could do that for you guys because I am so excited to jump into this series and I don't want to jump into it too early. I kind of want to do it closer to when the fifth book is coming out. So of course these make my list for what I want to read in winter. Then we have here Delicates, which is the second book in the series with Sheets. I just read Sheets this past month and I was iffy on it. I have a reading vlog on it and I will link that reading vlog down below if you want to see my thoughts on it. But I am still excited to keep going on with this series because the end kind of got a bit happier and I want to see where the friendship goes. So I picked up Delicates. Then we have this one. I don't think this is winter related, but I could be wrong. But for some reason, it's on here. I know I'm going to read it in the winter. So I wanted to put something I knew I was going to read since, again, I don't know how many of these I'm going to actually get to. And this one is Snapdragon by Kat Lee. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right, but here is that one. Then we have this one, and this one is hockey related. Hockey screams winter to me. So it is Check Please. And this is book one in Hashtag Hockey. I think Hashtag Hockey is the series name i don't know but here it is this is book one and i do have book two on my wish list and i'm hoping to get that one for christmas we shall see if i don't haul it already you guys know i have a book buying problem so we'll see but there is that one and then we have two more guys stick with me we have amulet and i actually wanted to read this because i heard it's good for beginners in the graphic novel world and that is still me while I've read a lot of graphic novels in the last month like that was my first month reading them so I am still a beginner in them even though I absolutely adore them and I want to like just soak them all in I can't I can't explain my love for graphic novels but I heard this one is a good one for beginners and that is Amulet so there is that one and this is book one I believe there might be two books I could be completely wrong Amulet's on there and then last but not least, I know a lot of you guys have recommended this series to me and this is the only manga on here, but I do have a lot more coming in. I am getting into manga guys. I promise for those who are like really looking forward to me reading manga, I am giving it a go. So this one is Spy Family and it is volume one. I actually have volumes one through five, I believe it is. So I'm excited to jump into this one and give this series a try. I also did read my first manga this past month other than when I was little. I, I, I tell you guys in that reading vlog too, I did read a manga when I was little, but I am not really counting that. So there is that one and that wraps up my winter TBR and I say that like there wasn't that many books on there but I know for a fact I am not going to get to all of these. There are a lot of books on this TBR but anyway thanks guys for sticking with me. These are the books I really really hope to get to this winter but we shall see. I am not going to be too hard on myself about this but I want to know what do you guys plan on reading this winter. I always love hearing what you guys want to read or are reading at the moment so let me know down below thanks guys for sticking with me for this video if you liked it make sure to give it that thumbs up if you want to see more book related videos make sure to stick around i would love to have you guys again as always i appreciate each and every single one of you and thank you and i will see you guys soon